Hello, this is Mighty Owl. The weather outside is absolutely perfect. And it's a beautiful day to walk to school and learn about fractions. Now, Jenny walks three quarters of a mile to school. And after school, she walks one third of a mile to the park. And then she walks another one and a half miles back home. What is the total distance Jenny walked? Each time Jenny walks to a new location, the amount that she has walked increases. And in order to find out the total distance that she has walked, we're going to need to add those fractions together. So let's create our expression. Now we have three-fourths plus one-third plus one and a half. And we need to convert unlike fractions into like fractions. And to do that, we have to find a common denominator. Two is a factor of four. So we need to multiply four and three to get a number common for all the denominators. So three times four is 12. Well, yeah, that'll work. And now let's change all the fractions to have 12 as a denominator. Three fourths multiplied by three over three gives us an equivalent fraction of nine twelfths. All right. Now one third multiplied by four over four is four twelfths. And finally, one half times six over six equals six twelfths. Woo, nice. Now we can add up the numerators. Nine plus four is 13. 13 plus six is 19. Add in the whole number that we have and we get one and 19 twelfths. But that's an improper fraction that we're gonna have to simplify. Now there's one group of 12 in 19, which we can make another whole. And now we have two and seven twelfths. Great work. Jenny walked two and seven twelfths miles. Oh, but it looks like Jenny isn't the only one working out today. Let's help Eric with those boxes. Eric has a box that's filled with a bunch of clothes. The box currently weighs 14 and three fifths pounds. After unpacking five and a half pounds of clothes, how much does the box weigh? Since Eric is taking clothes out of the box, that means that the weight will lower. And so we will need to subtract in order to find the new weight of the box. And you know what that means. It's subtraction time! Um, we have five and two as denominators, and we need a common denominator to subtract these unlike fractions. So five multiplied by two is 10, which is their common denominator. Now let's find the equivalent fractions. So we've got three fifths by two over two is six tenths. To change one half, we need to multiply by five over five. Okay, perfect. Now we got five tenths and we are ready to subtract. Okay, 14 and six tenths minus five and five tenths. Hmm. Now let's subtract the fractions and the whole numbers one at a time. First, six tenths minus five tenths is one tenth. And now we move over to the whole numbers and we've got 14 minus five, that's nine. So the box now weighs nine and one tenth pounds. Fabulous work. And it looks like Will needs help with his homework. Now Will has written that two sixths plus one half is equal to three eighths. Hmm. What has Will done wrong in his calculations? Um, here we have two sixths plus one half is equal to three eighths. And we know addition makes numbers go up in value. So if we're adding to one half, then the answer should be greater than one half. But here we have three eighths, which is less than one half. So it looks like Will added both fractions without finding a common denominator first. Ooh, I feel like a detective. Good detective work. We can fix this. We can use a common denominator of six, as two is a factor of six. So one half is equal to three sixths. Now, two sixths plus three sixths is equal to five sixths. And there you have it. Five sixths is the right answer here. Ah, uh, the weather is still so nice. What do you say we spend a little bit more time outside and help Latifa in the garden?
Latifa is pruning her plants. A bush has a height of five and one fourth feet. If Latifa trims off one and one third feet, how tall is the plant now? Well, since we're trimming, that means that we're removing part of the plant, and removing indicates that we need to subtract. And now it's time to set up our expression. All right, we're going to set up five and one fourth feet minus one and one third feet. Uh huh. And I see here that one third is greater than one fourth, and this means that we will need to take away more from the holes. So we have four and three as denominators, and if we multiply them, we get twelve as the common denominator. So five and one fourth is equivalent to five and three twelfths, and one and one third is equivalent to one and four twelfths. Now we can't take four twelfths from three twelfths, can we? So it looks like we need to break down a hole into twelfths in order to borrow. So we're going to take one hole from five, and we're going to break it into twelve twelfths, and then we're going to add in the numerator, the other three, and voila, we have fifteen twelfths. Much better. Fifteen twelfths minus four twelfths is eleven twelfths. So four minus one equals three. And now we know the plant is three and eleven twelfths feet tall. Outstanding! That is a much better height for a bush. Who? What a mighty day! We were able to help all of our friends with adding and subtracting fractions. We were even able to use benchmark fractions and estimation in order to help us make sure our answers were correct. And. We got a little bit of vitamin D from being out in the sun. When you're ready for the next lesson, just let me know. Till then, I'm gonna keep enjoying this beautiful weather.